we'd seen that the motion of a charged particle in the magnetic field was a circle right it was a circular motion and and motion of a charged particle in a magnetic field was a circle motion of a charged particle in magnetic field so so it was a straight line and and that was when you shot it absolutely perpendicular to the direction of the magnetic field that we saw last time right now what happens if if it has some sort of okay some sort of angle given with respect to the to the plane right to the to the magnetic field so 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 let's try to see okay you have the magnetic field you have a magnetic field in in this direction right so so if it is that way and qv cross b then yeah so so if it is kind of if the magnetic field is in this direction right is in this direction right and if you shoot the if you shoot the charge in this direction say the upward direction what will be the direction of the of the say somewhere here if you shoot it upward what happens what happens the force will be the force will be if you if you shoot it upwards what happens that's fine how will it turn how will it turn so it will be the x-axis towards the x-axis yeah Will it be towards the x-axis? No. Um, please come again. Towards the x-axis. No. I I have not yet marked the x, y, and z axis. This is your x-axis. Yes. This is your y, and this is your z axis, right? Now what happens? You will turn like this. Like what? Towards the positive x-axis. See, if you see, this is this is a 3D sort of thing that I've made, and and I'm shooting it here. Let's try to first of all find out the direction of the force. The direction of the force is is like like this, right? So, so this is your field, fine. This is your field. So so and this is your V. And if I'm say using a positive charge. Then V cross B is into the into the paper, right? Right. So it, it is in the in in the in the in the minus Z direction, right? So it is in the minus Z direction. So so it is kind of that. Right? Kind of that. So if you shoot it like that, it will be pulled in that direction. So it will make a circle, right? It will make a circle like that. Okay? It will go into a circle like that. Since the circle is in 
in the in this plane this looks like an ellipse right do we understand a circle which you are looking from looking obliquely at if if you were looking directly from this direction onto the circle it will look like a circle but if you are looking at a circle obliquely it starts looking at, at like an ellipse so it will start moving like that right that is fine if you had shot it at 90 degrees now what i say is i do not propose to shoot it at 90 degrees this seems to be making some angle with this plane so so it is kind of shot like that okay it is shot like that it makes some angle with with this plane okay it tends to make some angle with this plane right this is the plane this is the yz plane right it, it earlier earlier it was we had shot it in this plane right now it is not in that plane it is it is it is making some angle with this plane okay some angle get that earlier it was exactly in the plane that means if i had if i had kind of shifted this plane here right so if i had shifted shifted this plane here then then this this velocity vector okay this velocity vector would have fully coincided with this plane do you, do you see that that magenta vector that would have been in this plane i i have shifted i made a plane parallel to this i've shifted this plane here right or made a made a fresh plane that's parallel to the yz plane then then what i mean to say is that this vector would have solely solely been lying in the plane get that and by that and to that extent it would have been then absolutely the b would have been absolutely perpendicular to to this magenta vector earlier now it makes an angle with this plane right it makes an angle some angle with this plane which is equal to this you understand now what happens this velocity vector this velocity vector okay this velocity vector i am marking it with red the new one that has and if this angle is say theta that has a component of velocity v cos theta that lies in the plane do we see that it has a v cos theta it has a v cos theta that lies in this plane and a v sin theta that is perpendicular to the plane do we see that okay so so if if say say this is the plane right and this is the plane and we are making some angle with the plane right so so we our our velocity vector is making some angle with the plane right some angle to the plane then it has two components one that lies in the direction in the plane that is that is and it's making an angle of theta with the with the plane so so this angle this is theta so so this this component is v is v cos theta right and the perpendicular component right the perpendicular component which which is say say this okay this component is is v sin theta do we get that this is this is v sin theta okay now this v cos theta this v cos theta lies in the plane and we see it actually makes the charged particle go in a circle correct the component so the the component perpendicular the component lying in the plane lying in the plane is perpendicular to is 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 perpendicular to 
is perpendicular to the magnetic field and is responsible for and is responsible for the circular motion of radius r such that such that r is it it used to be mv upon qb mm. we had derived that in the earlier video now it becomes m v cos theta cos theta is theta is the component that that is perpendicular to the to the field right so so mv cos theta upon qb right upon qb do we see that now let's try to see now what happens so so it it turns turns like that completes one circle had this been had this been entirely in the plane had this velocity vector entirely been in the plane that means had there been no perpendicular component it would have come and retraced the path so so suppose if it started from here it would have gone all the way it would have gone all the way and come back and would have again touched this point and moved ahead okay but now what happens as it moves here right as it moves here in in a circular circular orbit it comes here here in time t it would it should have come here right but there is a trouble in time t this component v sin theta okay so in time time t t the charge would move in the positive x direction by a distance of v sin theta into t in time t the charge would move in the positive direction of x axis x axis by a distance how much by a distance this this component you should understand one thing this component lies in this direction in the direction of of, of the magnetic field and whenever that is the case whenever it is parallel or anti parallel to the magnetic field the angle is we know that the force is given by q v cross b the angle here becomes zero so so what is the force what is the force on this component there's no force there's no force on this component okay if there is no force on this component this is not an accelerated mo motion this v sin theta for for this v sin theta our our acceleration is zero our acceleration is zero so this moves with a constant velocity no one no, nothing is there to disturb the the this 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 perpendicular component of velocity right because force not in that direction because there's no force acting in that direction okay so so by a distance of of i'm sorry by a distance of v sin theta v sin theta into t okay and and what what do we want to say that that the component the component v sin theta the component v sin theta is not an accelerated one that is a is equal to a a is equal to a is equal to zero i said a is not equal to zero 
right so that's wrong here a is 0 right here a is 0 that is a is 0 because 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 v sin theta is parallel to b and hence feels no force no force right that's why we get the point so so what happens it's fine it it will be a circle now with uh, come, had, had the whole thing been shot in, in the plane it would have been mv upon qb now it is if the velocity is the same if the velocity is the same there's a smaller component cos theta value has to be less than one so if there's a smaller component so it'll it'll become slightly smaller a circle compared to what it would have been had you had you kept the the, the velocity vector in the plane right so so it is that but but the but one of the biggest things is that when it go comes completes one full circle it will come and and be somewhere here okay it it will not be it will not be a full circle in the sense that that it will go like that it will it will be there there and and it will be kind of this and come and strike it here right so let me let me erase the the earlier part to to make it clearer okay so so it will be something like that you get that it will be something like that so so that is the that is the first that is the first one right now now, now when it takes the when it takes the next loop when it takes the next loop it again kind of tries to go like that okay we'll we'll try to go like that but again won't come back to the same point and you see it coming and hitting it somewhere here right so it goes like a spring the the helix of a spring so we call this a helical motion you understand the 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 third one let, let me show the third one right so so it goes like that it goes like that and kind of will 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 complete a circle of the same radius and will come here right so it keeps it starts coming out moving towards the the x axis like the helix of a spring right and 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 so so where where so let me let me write so so the motion is is a helical one right it is a helical motion with the pitch this the distance between these two is called the pitch okay this and and this as in a spring you see as in a spring if, if you look at look at a spring then the distance between the the two nearest coils that is the pitch right that 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 distance is the pitch so the motion is a helical motion with with a with a with a pitch of how much what should be the pitch with a with a pitch of yes with a pitch of 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 v sine theta into into t no if you if it comes whole distance in time t it goes like that and and it comes here then then this distance traversed is this distance we we, we are talking about this distance that is v sine theta into t it's not v sine theta into t we at times call it the v sine theta thing we, we we call this v parallel v v parallel into t that is v parallel 
Why? Because it is parallel to the magnetic field. Magnetic field. You have that? So it is also termed as V parallel. Correct? It is termed V parallel. Fine? V parallel into T. That is the pitch of this helix. We get that? So the motion is a helical one with pitch equal to pit, pitch of pitch. Pitch is denoted by P. That is equal to this or, or, or if you if you decide to call this as V parallel then that. Okay? When you decide to call that V parallel then V cos theta becomes V perpendicular. Right? V perpendicular. So your radius becomes R is equal to M into V perpendicular upon QB. Right? Now this is something that creates what we know as northern lights. They are not seen from here in India. Okay? But if you go to the US, right? It is called it's called Aurora Borealis. Not even in US, in Canada and some parts of In US it is visible. In no? no, not in the US? No, no? not in the no? US. Okay. So so what happens? They are they are they are actually the charged particles which enter your Earth's magnetic field and they start moving like that, right? And create create light as they interact with the molecules of the Earth's atmosphere, right? And they are a sight to behold. Fine. So so it is it is only this movement of the charged particles so why do into, a color into, into a magnetic field. It depends on the kinetic energy and what kind of electrons they are able to knock off and, and that when falls back, that gives you the color. It, it's a spectrum. Right. So the excitation of electrons gives. Yeah, as, as we have seen in chemistry, that is what that is what uh, leads to these colors. And and since these kinetic energies are varying, you will see different colors across the sky. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. 